Hello, friends of mine. Welcome to my video. Yeah. Welcome to another video. Napoleon Total War. Mm -hmm. Napoleon Total War. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> uh, we are going to be watching a vicious fight on uh, the map Pomerania. It is a 4v4, and uh, it's going to be, of course, the French taking on um, the mostly UK, actually, I think all UK. We have a UK Portugal, the UK Portugal, uh, just a regular UK, and I'm not sure where the other um, army is, actually. I'm trying to figure out. I think they... So, yeah, another UK. So, a lot of UK and then a lot of France, which means, I mean, in this map, if you guys don't know already, this is a massive city map. Um, I always see a lot of vicious fighting in this town center. And the UK will not do as well, unless they brought some really good Grenadiers, Coldstream Guards, and that sort. Um, it's going to be a big struggle for them to uh, melee their way through this city. And uh, the French will excel. Now, of course, they are bringing a 9-point France Rhine a nine point Italy France, a nine point Spain France, and on the side here we have a eight point Spain France. Um, kind of sitting up on this hill. This is a tactic I have not seen in this map before. Usually everybody converges. This army usually marches down the road and takes the flank using the rivers and either pushes into the city through the marshes or they try to swing around the flank and take it. They are going for a, a little bit more of a strategy. Look at these guys, huh? Are those a bunch of soldiers? A lot of French there say, Vive la France! Do you like France or do you like UK? You like UK? <laughs> oh, so your your loyalties have changed, huh? You like the UK now, not the French. Uh, so yeah, we have the uh, French I marching. Like the you like the UK? You like the red uniforms here? Yeah. Look at this, we have some hussars here. And horses. Yeah, those are horses. Hussars. Those are called hussars. Can you say hussars? Hussar. Light calf. Um, so we do have a... Ooh, look at the UK. We have the UK marching up. Look at these fresh red scarlet uniforms, so you can't see them actually bleeding. Um, we do have, of course, some Portuguese infantry I do see along here. Um, they may be going straight for the town. It may actually be the coalition that gets to the town first. Um, and yep, they already have cavalry that is pushed up to the town. Uh, so France is gonna have to make some decisions here if they're gonna push into the town or if they're going to wait. Um, oh, or maybe the UK are not gonna give them the option. So these are some light dragoons of the UK. Let's see what else they got here. They got more hussars. And uh, looks like we may have some contact here. France may be surprising these uh, hussars, but it looks like they're actually gonna get themselves out of there. As these uh, Chasseur Cheval push up on that flank. So the UK may expect that. They don't know where the army is, guys. They don't know exactly where the French armies are. They're not able to really scout. And if the French really want to, especially on the right side, cover uh, their base and make sure that the UK don't let know where their army is, they need to push the cab out, screen the army. That's super important here. Now... France of Spain is steamrolling towards this town. Look at this French. Look at all this French infantry. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so gorgeous. With the mix of the white and blue uniforms. Uh, you got, ooh, Ledoux. Is that Ledoux? Yeah, that is. That's some Grenadier Cheval. So they have a mixture of some of the Imperial Guard mixed in with this army. They are pushing up some of their artillery. It looks like an 8-pounder. Love 8-pounders. Still no one clashing yet. It looks like the UK just want to uh, have their cab hold this town for now. Keep the French from taking it. Now, of course, we do have um, the Chasseur Cheval pushing up. They may even send some of their heavier cav. We do have some of the Imperial Guard Dragoons. Wow, these guys. Look at this. Look at them. They have le like leopard skin here or cheetah skin on their helmets. That can't be cheap. Or that can't be... Uh, yeah, that can't be cheap. That's, that's the way to talk. <laughs> so uh, over on this side, we do have the French pushing up here. They are going for a full flank. Um, I'm really excited to actually see how this one goes. Look at them. They're just issuing out here. Oh, wow. That's that's cool. Looks like they have some Polish, maybe. I mean, these are light infantry, I do assume. Yeah, looks like some Polish. You have a mixture of some Polish units in here. Look at they're just pushing for the flank of this town. I love it. And uh, I don't know if the UK have realized yet. Now, 
we will see in a second here. Um, yep, the UK know it. Look at this. They have a huge force facing them, so the river, however, is going to stop the UK from being able to truly advance and take this side of the town. Do we have a cab charge here? I think we have our first cab engagement. Look, horses are charging. We got, uh, and actually, it looks like the UK are pushing up just in the nick of time. Look, yeah, horses and infantry. Look at this, infantry pushing up here. Yeah, oh, we have a huge cab fight with line infantry involved as well. They are forming squares, some Portuguese line infantry. There are some squares being formed, so France has to be very cautious here. Um, because uh, their, their squares won't hold up here. Do you see more horses charging? Look at this. And we do have some skirmishers possibly trying to make a break for uh, the LOC. Uh, now, the question is, are they going to make it to the LOC before getting run over by some Dragoons here? France has broken. Hello, Violet. Um, oh, yep, the skirmishers are going to get charged here. These poor grasshoppers are going to get totally toasted <laughs> by these uh, Dragoons. It's over for them. But France is being held back just because of all the squareables here. You can see they're pouring more and more cav in here. I think they're sacrificing their cavalry just to try to stop the UK from being able to get a foothold while they also are pushing up their light line infantry, I should say. Hi, and friends. Okay, yeah, we, we already said hi, friends, but you can't at the end of the video, okay? Um, we may have... Uh... Friends, welcome to my family. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll say we'll say we'll say hi, friends, in a bit. Okay, uh, we also have Ryan. Look at this. Look at this, bud. Look at all this infantry. Uh, so we have the Ryan pushing over with a ton of line infantry of their own. Um, so France is not going to give this town up. Um, they keep throwing in infantry back. They have an LOC which they have taken, and uh, I don't see the French doing a whole lot over here yet. They are mainly screening, but I think they're just yeah pushing for the town, guys. This is gonna be a town fight if you're ready. Uh, town fight. <laughs> Both sides have a foothold in the city now. And like I said, guys, the LOC definitely um, in French hands at the moment. We have some skirmishers set up here. Beautiful positioning for that. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cav pushing up, I don't think, for the uh, rent for the UK. Um, looks like they have some of their grass. Oh, no, these are the uh, Portuguese light infantry. Very, very good. And actually looks like... Uh, the UK or maybe are going to start falling back a little bit. I don't think they like this. And honestly, you don't want to get too close to France. France will start meleeing you, and it will be over before it's begun. Um, so you, you, UK wants to be able to shoot. They don't want to sit and get into melee here. France is closing the gap here. They are advancing across the first river. Uh, they do have the artillery setting up. They are probably coming under artillery fire from the UK here. We do have some cavalry set up. I don't see any heavy dragoons yet, but we do have a 12-pounder. Looks like Portuguese cat, uh, artillery piece. They also expand all the way to this uh, little like stockade. But here comes the Rhine. They are pushing across this river with all their infantry. Look at 170, 160 men. I mean, they have some. The Rhine brings some large units of infantry. Um, over on this side, it's just a lot of screening, cab screening. I don't know where the UK army is. They may be honestly pushing down this road to take this portion of the house. We do have some cab trying to sneak around some dragoons from Italy. France, Italy, and France has taken this part of the LOC. And they're using their Trilliers to great effect, pushing back the UK. UK is now stopping, but here comes the Rhine. Now, this is something that I see the UK need to be very, very careful of. There is a area right here where you have one French army right here and the UK kind of forming up to meet them. But look at this empty area right here. Now, this is a marsh, so you don't actually need a lot to defend this area. But France is pushing over, which means the UK are going to have to shift reinforcements um, to defend this side as France is going to outflank or go for the flank of the UK. Um, they need to maybe, at this point, as the UK, I would fall back out of the city. I know that's maybe you know, not what they're going to do. I would fall back and try to take this high ground and hold along this hill, try to fight outside the city at first, and maybe swing around trying to crush this French player. But we'll see. We'll see what they actually end up doing because there's obviously a huge flank being pushed by the French, they are going up through here with their line infantry just pushing up here. Wow. I mean, they, they've taken the, the left flank of the UK. And if they just get around and start bayonet charging, I think the UK are falling back, though. Oh, do we have some artillery? That was was going to charge Hussars, and they are now going to get countercharged by some uh, 
some cavalry of the Portuguese, but they are actually going to get themselves out of there as they are trying to drive back this horse artillery. A lot of cav defending it. So this side, we have a lot of UK infantry. So France is going to probably have to be very cautious with that flank. As you see, Italy is pushing up here. They may have to watch the flank, though, of France. You want to go sit with mom? So still, it looks like Ryan is still pushing over on this side, though. Um, hold on. Here, buddy. So that you can see they are having to reform here. And honestly, Ryan should be pushing this flank, um, which I think they actually are doing. Um, they are doing that, and it looks like they are pushing finally on the, the UK position over here. Um... They do have a lot of units on the flank here. A huge flanking force with the 65 and Grenadiers, of course. I do see some Grenadiers here. Ooh. I love just... I mean, you know, every played vanilla, I'm sure, if you have Napoleon. Look at the uniform differences. It's just the amount of detail they put in NTW3 is just always so awesome to see. We do have a huge calf fight here. Dragoons charging in against what looks like some Portuguese and some... No, just light Dragoons, actually. Mostly Light Dragoons and some Hussars on the flank. These are Chester, Cheval, and Dragoons of France. Um, both sides actually very well pitted against each other, and the UK have a little bit more cavalry on this side. It's really important that the French win this flank. They need to have Cav superiority in this battle. And they have a bigger army um, than the UK when it comes to line of troop, but they are they lost their Dragoons. Maybe their Chester, Cheval can break the French, no, the, the UK. But we do have Ryan pushing up here, using this basically gap in between the lines here. And uh, they're going to start pushing in, maybe surrounding. If they can destroy this army. Um, although, my goodness, they are just getting toasted here. This poor line of getting toasted by artillery from the UK. Uh, that's going to be dreadful. But the UK do have a disadvantage when there's a huge flank of French pushing up here. Um, you can see the UK are still trying to hold on to the city. Um, it's gonna be very rough. They do have reinforcements moving down the road, but here comes Italy. They are gonna take this left flank here. The use of their the calf to basically just away. hold back any UK, because that is a concerning flank that is gonna be pushing up. Um, but they are pushing across this river. If they can get a gain of foothold before the UK do. Oh, look at this. We got some of the Scottish Highlanders with the kilts. These guys are gonna be tough to fight. They have good melee. Pretty good shooting. Um, so it looks like the French did win the calf fight. That's super important for them because they don't have I I not all of their units can swear. Um, in fact, most of them can't. So the UK may have to start falling back. Their units are not as large, and uh, now with that huge outflank, the UK are running away. They're reforming here. Look at that. So the UK are going to fall back as Rhine continues to push their advantage. They have superior numbers on this flank. And the UK not looking too hot. In the center, guys, it's just a shooting match. Both sides shooting. I'm surprised France is not trying to melee their way through this. It's some bitter street fighting. Oh, I hear a calf fight. There's no army to face this. I think, yeah, Italy's actually sending over some most of their troops... I think they realize that this fight is doing just fine. Uh, and in fact, the UK probably are shifting over reinforcements to stop, uh, plug this gap. They need a whole army here. Or at least two-thirds of an army to plug this gap here. So the UK can get themselves out of there. So they're probably going to send these reinforcements over. France, Italy is going to have to hold against this UK pushing across this open field. They can use this river to hold. I love how there's so many rivers to hold, um, making it very easy. Now, the UK, I don't know how they're doing here. Being totally honest, I don't know who's winning and losing. I do see units that are losing slightly, but there is quite a few of them. We have some more reserves. Ooh, some sappers. This is like Spanish or Saxon. Very nice. Um, and they have some 20E pushing up. Oh, wow, the artillery is really focusing down. This thing's at 100%. Um, they did take their units out of it, I think, just so to save them. Now, we do, of course, have some units that are probably going for this house. Or at least try to take it from these uh, Portuguese. Cavalry's getting shot to pieces. They need to pull that cab back. And yeah, they're going to charge in. 
France going across. Now the artillery did get away from the French, but they are now going to cross this river. They have a huge flank here. They have an advantage. They cannot lose this advantage. This unit needs to keep pushing. They can't let them get away. Don't let the All UK get away. Ah, uh, Cav did break. Unfortunately, we do have some cavalry pushing for the gun. No, that's that's French. Or that's uh, UK. We do have some more units from the French breaking. I think probably just from that concentrated fire, guys. This is this is a problem. The French need to not sit and shoot. I mean, if they do, this is going to be a big problem for them. They are not going to win this fight. They need to start stabbing them All instead of pulling that trigger. Um, I, I mean, they do have a good flank, and these are very beefy units from Ryan. Um, but they need to like start pushing up and bayonet charging, squashing this flank. They are pincering them. They need to. They need to not let these guys keep shooting here. They did take the LOC from the Portuguese infantry, and uh, we'll see how things keep developing. Go play with mom. Um, we do have some more cav clashing over here. It looks like some dragoons got oh, charged man, by some hussars. Um, Oh, we do have a huge bayonet charge here with Cav. Oh my goodness, the French did go in here. Um, looks like a, I don't know who, which Cav this is. This is line infantry? This is, no, this is cavalry of France charging in here along with some counter charge of, looks like some uh, of the Saxon Cav of the UK causing a lot of, a lot of uh, just confusion in the ranks here. We have more bayonet charges going in. And uh, France is now going to start advancing because they have crushed this side here. Now the UK are up on this hill, so they did manage to join up. All men are and I'm assuming from. the UK are going to be pushing over here to this side to try to defend this hill. Um, but you can see they are definitely getting pushed out here. We also have a huge fight over here where Cav is clashing. Lines are getting charged here. Squares getting charged by the French. Uh, this is exactly what the UK do not want to have happen. They lost their Cav, and their squares are going to get chopped up here. Oh wow, look at this unit. This is a very cool looking unit. This is, I believe, light infantry. Wow. So France is just caving in the UK here. Um, this vicious fight looks like actually the French are maybe going to start getting pushed back just a little bit here. Um, over here, it looks like the UK have stopped the Rhine from being able to push up on this uh, flank here. So not, not too terrible here. Um, the UK, of course, has, still have a huge army they have to face, though. The French haven't lost a whole lot, and the UK just have to try to reform here. They have some of the Highlanders up on the hill. Oh, man, it's a nightmare looking. The UK are actually counterattacking with some reinforcements here. Not really happy to give up this area. Over on this side, though, the UK look like they are just getting destroyed here. The cavalry in the back lines. France is getting crushed. Or not France. The UK are getting just absolutely demolished here these squares just not doing too well um half their army will say it's almost gone now here comes more cav to charge in and the uk are just getting rolled over on this flank here this is gonna be not a good thing to see um as the uk are gonna try to get themselves out of there fall back maybe to this river hold this flank Ah, things are not looking too good for them now. Now they are back here fighting once more. Um, and actually, they're going to start breaking some of the French who've been fighting for a lot longer. This is reinforcements. These are fresh troops. We have some of the old Highlanders going in. A ton of Highlanders going in here. France got a little too close to these Highlanders who turned and just charged them. All men are running for. And the French are breaking. They did break some of the UK, but 
I think I think the the oh wow the French just had a a, a a big route here two units over on this side I don't know if the UK are trying to bayonet charge here but they are actually go more oh my goodness there's so many Highlanders and there's Cav behind oh France needs to be very cautious here there is a lot happening here with all the smoke it's gonna cloud things and make the fighting even more vicious on this side oh my gosh. The UK are just dead. They are just being surrounded and just demolished. And this looks like a unit that should be facing. They're gonna go and counter charge as France just caves in on the UK. They are basically all but gone. Um, the real fight though happening over here where the French are mass routing here. So this is a concern. Um, units firing in the flank. You have those Highlanders charging in France is actually going to have to be very cautious. They can start triggering a mass route if they aren't careful. This is when oh, man, UK need to push. Um, there's units rowdy, which is going to cause a debuff in morale to the units, other French units that are around, and you could really break the whole center of France. What a beautiful charge by the UK. Uh, that is a, that's gorgeous. Now, of course, on this side, we do have the UK still battling it out. These guys are probably getting tired. Man. Enemy general has been slain here. Our men are running, sir. As France, Italy victoriously has destroyed the UK and are now gonna start descending on the flank here. Um, there are more French or UK reserves here. There's more cav. Um, I think that the French have basically been shattered. So wow, this battle is actually a lot closer. Now there is still some a Spain. France of Spain over here. They're probably going to try to reform around this LOC. Um, wait to see what the other flanks do. The French are actually starting to lose a little bit here. Their units are just getting shot up. Over here, we do have double stacked units. We do have... Look at this. The French... The French are actually getting counterattacked here. This is a vastly inferiorly sized UK force, but we'll see what they do against the French. As the UK are now... A, counterattacking the French. Um, we'll see how that battle goes. There's still some cavalry of the UK as well. Uh, the Rhine needs to shift these troops over. Ignore the town for now, because the French uh, Italy is going to push up with what's left of Spain. You need to crush this side so that Spain and the rest of Rhine can then push across the town. So they need to push over here and put pressure on this UK army. Um, the UK have victoriously taken back most of the town to be honest so not a washout by any means i don't think the french were expecting espania was not expecting the french or the uh, uk to uh, charge in so fast and now the uk are gonna have some decisions to make do they continue to press the attack here or do they go to the reinforcing their uk ally over here who is not doing too terrible at this point in time and actually making the French fall back. So as much as they have lost one UK army here, they are not out of the woods. The French have not clearly won this fight yet. They probably have. I mean, this is a whole nother army that's pretty healthy uh, that is now going to advance on the UK flank. I don't think they have enough troops to face it. This is what happens when you split up. Uh, honestly, the UK should have probably, this army should have probably rolled down the road, taken this right flank. Um, done a little better here. Are, must rest a while. We do have more units bayonet charging in here. Oh, we do have a, ca oh, and cavalry. Oh, wow. So France is once more getting swept away. They do have an artillery position, an eight pounder. That could be very helpful. Um, but with the French getting charged with cavalry as well, this is not looking too hopeful for them. We do have some cavalry from Italy pushing up here. We have Dragoons trying to do their best to uh, stop this UK onslaught. Over here, the UK are pressing the attack constantly. Uh, France is actually having to fall back. Uh, we have some units going for a flank here, but the two units of the UK are holding back four of Ryan, I think, or three. I love this battle. I, I'm, I'm gonna say it now, I love this battle. It's been so back and forth, it is beautiful. 
a counter charge of the UK cavalry broke those attacking French. Oh, there is some units coming back. What this, what a Spain should do is, if the units that do come back, form on the river and wait. Don't try counterattacking yet. Wait. Hold your position. Wait for Italy to push this flank, which is exactly what they're doing. The UK are going to have to turn and this face them. This building has fallen to the enemy. They have taken the town center, so the UK once more holding aside. Oh, the UK are breaking here. I think they finally have been surrounded, and unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do. Looks like they even went for a bayonet charge here on this flank. Unfortunately, they should have kept shooting. It was going so well at first, unfortunately. Um, they were heavily outnumbered. But it is what it is, you know? I'd be proud still. UK put up quite the fight. Very vicious fight here. What was that? The lens flare here. So Spain is going to hold their position. Let their units rest. These are exhausted units. They need to rest for half the battle at least. And then Italy now is going to take the mantle here. The only problem is the UK now, unless Spain tries to push in, which their units are exhausted, they're going to be almost ineffective. Um, Italy is going to have to uh, push against the UK. Now, I don't know how well rested the UK are, but they have artillery up on the hill to help their flank here. The only saving grace could be that the uh, Spain and Ryan are going to be able to swing around and crush them from the other side of the town. But the UK still have the town at this point in time. But now it's it's heavily outnumbered UK. I mean, they, they held beautifully. I mean, that charge was, man... How many times have we seen this town be just massed full of dead bodies? The townspeople are going to get tired of cleaning up and burying thousands of enemy dead. Uh, we did have a bayonet charge here, but we have some, uh, some Highlanders that are pushing up. And artillery, guys. Don't forget how crucial artillery truly can be. And they are going to start trying their best to hit the flank of the French as hard as possible. Um, and looks like the French are going to try to go in. Oh, they get shot. Watch out for that UK machine gun. It'll burn you. It goes burn and boom. Bayonet charge. Two units going in. There's some reinforcements from the UK. They have their general in the back lines. These look like cold stream guards almost. Look how fast they fire, guys. It's quite literally how fast they fire compared to the French. It's crazy. All right, so the French are victoriously going to start advancing. They have one on this side. And Spain probably is going to let their units rest a little bit more, and then they're going to advance in here. It's too bad they couldn't advance right now, but, you know. Oh, we do have the French going in with Dragoons and infantry. A coordinated attack. Breaking some of the UK in the center. I don't know if they have enough troops to be able to face all of this. Cavalry punching in as well. This fight, guys. We have the Highlanders charging in as well. The French actually having some breaking. They're breaking a lot of the UK at the same time. And they have reinforcements pouring over, so I think the UK's fate is going to be sealed here in the next 10 minutes, I guess. I mean, this battle is only 30, 40 minutes long, something like that. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Which, you know, it's not bad to have a 30-minute battle. If it's a really good battle, which this one I say is a good battle, even if the UK did lose, they had two, they had, they had a one big problem. They lost the whole army here with probably not being able to put up much of a fight. And this, this fight over here took a lot longer. Definitely had a lot more losses for the French. The town center saw Espana almost get totally broken. Thankfully, they were able to retreat and to reform here. But the UK were vicious. I think a lot more of a bite than uh, the French expected. We have killed their general, sir. Now uh. they must break. Another general has been slain for the UK. France pouring through this gap.
I mean, anywhere you turn, guys, it's gonna be fighting in the streets. Turn a corner, there's more fighting happening here. There's corners. This artillery is helping. Looking at the grand scheme of things here, I think the UK are just consolidating this one area. We have a bayonet charge going for the flank, going for the general, possibly. We have killed that general, sir. Yeah, they killed another general. And uh, the artillery is now going to get charged. As, oh, nope. Yeah, it is. Uh, this may be it, guys. This may be it. A 30-minute video. <laughs> Or thereabouts, 30 minutes, give or take. Um, not bad, not a bad video though. I mean, you know, it was a lot of fun. I meant to do screenshot mode for this. I love this map. This map has gotta be one of the most gorgeous maps I've ever seen. We have only a couple UK units left, desperately trying to hold on here. They're forming some squares. This is no Waterloo, guys. And uh, victorious, finally, the French will advance and uh, take the city in Palmerania. A nice scattered map. I like the battle. Like, you know, it, it ranged all the way over here, all the way to here. So, especially in here. Obviously, the focal point, the main objective. Um, we do have, I think, one UK faction way in the back here. Just one or two scattered units here. Some Highlanders. That's nice enough to form square. <laughs> good, good, it seems like some good, uh, good sportsmanship um, on both sides, I think. Definitely. Friends are going to defeat this one last unit here, and uh, then this fight will be over. We'll look at the stats. And, uh, wow, yeah, that was, that was beautiful. That was a really nice, nice battle here. That flank that the French took forced the UK to spread themselves along a long line. And they don't have as many troops as Glorious the, uh, oh, there's one unit yours. left in the LOC. Just, just go out. Just, yeah, they're, they're marching out. So they're gonna probably march over and uh The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Yeah, the the thing was the UK did well in the town. They did awful over here. I mean that, there's no way really to say it. Otherwise, they got surrounded and destroyed by a larger France Italy. Um over here, the UK held on as best they could, but France Rhine prioritizing not taking the city, but going out to defeat this flank. Um really is what saved them there. Let's see, it was the Grand Union of Onions, possibly? I think. I think it was the Grand Union of Onions. Either that or it was Henry Clay. No, well, they're both eight points, so it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> but either, whoever it was, I thank you so much for that replay. It's one of these two people. Um, you can see the losses, enemy killed. I did love, um, well, Travis like got the most kills, 11. We have Drusko with nine, Alexander with nine, trying to get somewhere. Definitely, I'm assuming they're the seven point eighteen twelve UK got surrounded over here. They only got two hundred ninety two kills. So unfortunately, that's probably the downfall is they were not able to effectively help as they were isolated over here. So um, you can see, honestly, this not not a lot of kills, but you know, you don't always have to get kills in order to win a game. Kills don't dictate that you helped a lot because you can break units and just keep marching. So either way, uh, well played to both sides. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all in another video.